it's part of the UK student visa process. You have to appear for CAS, pre-CAS and immigration interviews. These mock interviews are conducted with the students. It's very crucial to pave your path to achieve your ultimate goal. If you want to appear for similar interviews, I've added the link into the description below. You need to become a member of the channel. Upon confirmation, you will receive an invitation to the meeting and also the potential questionnaire to prepare for the interview. Let's enjoy the latest recorded interview. Can you confirm your name and date of birth, please? My name is Radha Nagan Navalniki and my date of birth is... Can you describe the course you will be studying? I'll be studying MA International Business Management at the Master Degree course, uh, full time. It will be one year course. Uh, can, can you explain and detail the modules you're going to be studying there? Uh, modules will be, uh, there are six modules, which is International Business Management Project, uh, International Business Strategy, Trade and Multinational Enterprise, Managing in a Globalized Context, Management Analytics, and uh, uh, Management, um, there is one more, sorry, I forgot. Uh, uh, it's a management uh, in a multinational organization. Okay, thank you very much. Are you required to do a work placement as part of your course? It's a taught course. So, so no I don't work placement. Okay. So. No. How does this course relate to your previous studies? Uh, previously, I have completed my Bachelor of Commerce which is totally related to a business stream. And then later in 2016, I have completed my master degree uh, in business administration. Two semester, it was business administration and two semester was in retail management. That was the specification and the subjects were related to totally business. But now I want to go ahead one step and want to know about the international market. So after the business administration, I have taken an international business. So I would able to know about how business works in different countries and how it work in the multicultural environment. Okay, thank you. Uh, how long does your course last? It will be for one year. It will start on uh, 19 September in 2002, but the end date is not yet declared. Okay, uh, how your chosen course will be assessed? Uh, it will be assessed by project. They will give a um, project in the same topic, which is international business management. There will be assignments. There will be individual and group course and the dissertation. Can you talk me about a particular modules you are interested in? Uh, I'm interested in uh, two modules. One is uh, the business management in multinational organization and uh, business strategy. Multinational organization, because as I told you, I want to know more about the multicultural environment, how the business works in other countries, because uh, being in one country, you are not able to understand totally about the international market. So it is a very good, I can say, um, good, very good uh, prospect for me to understand how business culture works in uh, different areas like the, the planning, the analytics. Uh, it differed country to country according to their system. So that one module is very important for me and I do like to study in details. And the second, as, as I told you, the business strategy. Business strategy is a plan. It's created by a company to expand their form, which is done on a, dif a different level, in a corporate level, business level, and financial level. 
so this will help me to understand how you plan your business to take your product a level head and this will help me to understand what will be the risk and how you can grow your product and strategies like in the market okay thank you uh, why do you want to study at this university this university was um, actually i live in the dubai uh, since long um and i know this university middlesex university in dubai it is one of the reputed and uh, reputed univers british university in uae so i knew about it but i did not choose uh, middlesex dubai because i believe that having uk um, degree will give me give more value to my degree and the uh, employer will be highly considering second thing the middle sex dubai um if i compare the fees it's almost the same it doesn't have much difference here they are charging like 15000 pound and in hendon campus london they are charging 16800 so i believe there i can gain more experience but uh, in london only middle sex is not the university where i have applied i have also applied in alsta university but when i compare to the facilities what middle sex is providing me i think so will be more beneficial for my studies like they have a 24/7 uh, live uh, live open library where student can learn uh, on their own time it's more helpful for the student who are working or some of them who who are busy in some other thing so they have their own time to study it also promotes you to reading as it is open 24 hours and the second um, um, it's also helpful because they have an independent space available for the study where student can sit in a quiet place and study well making their assignments they have a um, group for a group um, spaces where a group of student can sit and make their projects together they have micro labs where the computers are available for the students and they have a uh, lecture theaters where almost uh, 100 to 300 students can sit they have it facilities for the students where they provide um, online library and if uh, students are having any doubts or queries they can uh, the it department is able to solve it by taking one and one appointment or online as well then they have for business students there is a business facilities where they have a financial market lab where they provide the real time data compared to what professionals are using so it's a real time data with the updated software so i believe i i have also taken a business management study so this will be helpful for me and yes a, for a, being a student it is very important that how uh, the uh, how the university supports you how they are teaching you the te- teaching methods is also i have like i have gone through and i have researched it uh the teaching facilities they are doing on campus then they have uh, talked with the guest speakers who will be related to the same course they will give a talk and then there are few projects which they will be given and this will help to use our own skill as a student so i believe that uh, this university will give me a lot of support to complete my course and it will help me to enhance my knowledge and skill thank you much uh, where is this university located it is in the north london the boroughs uh, nw4 4bt hendon campus how much is your course tuition fee uh, it's 16800 pounds per year why you have chosen to study in the uk um uk is one of the advanced and they provide high standard education and being my 
course is international business management it is the course which is related to the transaction like selling of goods and services in different countries so it is for me it is um, very important to understand the multicultural environment and being in uk which is a diverse country where the student come from different culture different background studying with them it will help me to understand how the business culture work in their country so that is one point another is like in india it's more about the theory based studies but in uk it's more about the gaining of practical knowledge and practical knowledge is very important as you have to know how the uh, world or any work is actually working it it gives you a real time experience and in practical knowledge you can also they, they, Uh, the work is included like study work like uh, assignments which will help you to use your own skills and there are many other skills which i can use and i will able to learn in uk which is like adaptability skill communication skill interpersonal skill all these skills i will be able to understand and i'll be able to learn in uk and one more point i would like to let which is a major point compared to my country um, the course duration length is like 2 years in india and uk i can complete my course in one year time so yes these all points have been has been considered by me and i have selected this country thank you much what are your post study plans I study I want to become an operations manager so that is the reason I have chosen this course so once I complete this course I'll go back to my country I'll list out all the company uh, MNC companies where there are requirements for an operation manager and it suits my objectives and I'll apply there and I hope so after my studies I'll get my job what i am looking for thank you very much uh, where you will be staying in the uk uk i haven't uh, like decided yet the perfect location but i have decided that once um, i'll get my place in the university i'll be like i'll go 15 20 days before my sorry <coughs> course date uh and i'll be living in the hotel i have selected few from the website which is like a village hotel la cafe which is near to the middlesex university and living there i will choose some apartment or studio for the living because i want to see where proper space where i'll be living and it has to be near to my university who is financing your study in the uk um myself i have uh, i was working for this for so long in dubai and i have accumulated money and i'll be self funding so it from it is from my savings thank you much uh, how much is the maintenance cost in the uk it's according to uk vi it's 1334 which is they consider as for the 9 month which is i have in my account that is for per month 1334 yeah thank you very much do you know whether you are entitled to work in the uk during your studies yes i do that is uk vi permit um, 20 hours per week but i'll be more concentrating on my studies as it's a one year time and i have to give full time to this to, to my study and course thank you much uh, that's all i have to ask yourself is there any questions for me uh yeah do you feel uh, did i i was wrong somewhere or i can uh, do well 
thank you very much. No, the, the, you, your answers are pretty much there. Uh, like, I mean, uh, especially, I mean, your English is, is so strong, actually, because I've been interviewing mm -hmm. yeah, so many students and uh, I can feel it, actually, you, you, you're, you're quite strong. Uh, might be because you are living in Dubai and but that this English might be the sort of, yeah, the communication over there, but that, that might be yes, the reason. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's really good to, to, to hear your answers. It's just a few minor stuff, actually, I wanted to add. Uh, not, not major at all. It's minor stuff, you, you just, just be, a bit of more attention to those. So, uh, for instance, I mean, one of the questions I asked about your modules. So modules, make sure you, you learn them by your fingertips. I mean, that should be yeah, yeah. pretty much straightforward for, you, for yourself, basically. Yeah, these are the six modules I need to study. So you need to one, two, three, six, all in one go. So make sure you, you learn that. Obviously, I mean, they, they are all your relevant sort of yeah, subjects should be to easy be, for you. To be very frank, I'm trying this for so long and I did not, I mean, I did not do any mistake. I don't know while doing mock, mock uh, my brain wa wandered totally. And, uh, and no, no, that's, that's, that no, it, does, it does happen. It does happen uh, because, yeah, we, 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 we are humans. So we do, we, we do feel that pressure. Actually, if someone asks you questions, obviously, you, you'll be fine. But, but yeah. if someone asks you the question, so that, that's absolutely maybe, fine. Maybe the pressure. Yeah, no, absolutely. But if you if you practice more and more, it will be just natural. That's that's what I see actually. That the more you 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 just practice them, that it become really easy and just just become a natural. Um, and the other question was about the about about the uh, why do you want to study at this university? So you go really into the depth, basically too much details there. That's uh, that's fine. I got no issues with that. But sometimes I felt like you gone a bit of a yeah derail from from the specific. So it was too much detail. So I would say consider four or five specific sort of uh, factors there. So you can compare, for instance, I mean, a, 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 a two or three universities for you, you did mention Ulster University, you, you mentioned that one, you can take another uh, sort of university for comparison purpose. And you can compare them for like, I mean, factors like teaching excellence, for yeah, Middlesex is, is a brilliant yeah teaching excellence. That's one of the employment rate. You can check that yeah is is better in your in your course. Uh, another is about the ranking. I mean, if you if you know, I mean that in in your course, I mean that's that's a better rank uh, there. Yeah, sorry. Actually, I re read the ranking also, but I forgot to tell. I, yeah, no, I no, no, that's, that's, that's absolutely fine. Uh, but what, what I'm trying to say, like, I mean, if you list about four or five different sort mm -hmm. of factors and just compare those ones, as I said, I mean, you can say teaching excellent, employment rate, ranking, subject ranking, uh, student satisfaction, living cost. I mean, these are few factors you can take them and just say basically, yeah, like, a, for, for instance, I mean, ranking. Yeah, Middlesex is that rank and Ulster was yeah, lower and the other was lower than that. And then similarly, teaching excellence, that have yeah, high grades yeah, for, for, for the Middlesex. So you can just compare that way. So in, in a sort of a table for, format, basically, that's, that's what I'm trying to say, rather than too much into the detail. So four or five factors, I mean, that, that will cover your, your question there. So you, you've done the comparison. And you also identify this is the best university. Or what that, that's the reason why I've chosen that. So that will make it a perfect answer there. So four or five items, uh, factors, I, I would say that, that they will do the job. Um, and also the other question was about um, why you have chosen UK. Again, yeah, you go on in, in really depth there as well. That's absolutely fine. It's just a few things that there might be the question, why not Australia, US, Canada, like other countries as well. So make sure you, you, you do, do, I mean, you own a bit of a research. Uh, as, as you mentioned, actually, the, the course duration, that's one of the, the, the best factor, actually. You, you got minimum duration here in the UK. That's, that's one of the factor. Uh, you, can, you can compare the others, like um, 
maybe the the, uh, the it comes yeah the fee as well so that that give you advantage also you you spend minimum time studying and get into the job market straight away after completion so these are a few factors basically you can add those as well so the question might be comparison between the other countries uh rather than yeah you just talk about yeah obviously uk is the best yeah sort of uh, provider their quality of education is 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 the best uh but yeah it's, it's just for other other countries as well so make sure you you have a bit of a research with the U us and the australia as well they they are really sort of top notch yeah countries people generally go there so this the question might be yeah what why why not us rather than uk so it, it can come like that as well the question but yeah the your answers was okay. I mean, I got no issues with that, but I, I, I'm just trying to warn you, the qu the question might be slightly different. So you need to ensure you are prepared for that as well. And I think that's, that's all. So it's not major at all. It was really minor, uh, what, what I found. And in fact, as, as you mentioned, you already gone through the process actually. So you know actually what to expect there. And um, I found, yeah, actually, that these are the two questions, actually, which will be, again, your yeah, answers, which will be asked again, basically, about the uh, university and about the country, basically. These country, are the two main, yeah. these are the two main uh, sort of, yeah. This but, is what uh, they told me as well. Yeah, I'm. I'm sure you 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 have done uh, your 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 actually homework there. I, I I don't say. I mean, it's it's um it's a failure at all. I mean, you have passed. I mean, if if I'm judging yourself, these answers are fine. But I just wanted to a bit refine it rather than too much into the details. That that's where you slightly go astray actually from from the right answer. So I, I would say just just list them down. Basically, these are the four or five sort of factors I need to talk about, and that's it. You, you can close it there. Anything else you want to add okay. or want to ask? Um, no, no, it was perfect. Your suggestions were. Thank you very much, and I wish you the very, very best of luck. And uh, what I'll do, so I will share the link to this uh, sort of recording as well, so you can actually sure. watch yourself as well, how you're responding. And uh, as, as I said, I mean, I read a few uh, things there as well, so you can repeat and Thank just, just so listen much. to those as well. So I'm sure uh, you will be there, um, and hopefully we'll see you some in the UK yeah, soon. Sure. <laughs> Hope so. Thank you very much and uh, have Thank a good day. You. Thank you. You Cheers. too. Take Bye. care. Bye. Bye. Obviously, I mean these uh, these interviews. Uh, I'm sure, yeah, uh, you've gone through the like. I mean, I've been uploaded yeah quite quite a number of uh, these these similar interviews on my YouTube channel, and the reason being yeah. is is just give you a bit of a practice session for your uh, final sort of yeah interview when you appear for for your final interview with the university. So we we're gonna go through all the questions which which I shared with yourself already it will be yes yeah, similar question uh, i won't say 100 percent will be exactly the same but um i, I must add I, it will be at least 80 to 90 percent will be in the similar range basically so mm -hmm. as long as you're prepared yeah, to answer these mm -hmm. questions i'm sure um you will be well, well on the course actually there so um before I make it a bit formal, uh, like uh, the question answers, uh, just just introduce yourself. I mean, uh, what, what's the plan? When are you coming over here to the UK? What, what are you going to study? Uh, my name is Radha Navarna Valmiki. I'll be studying MA, that's a master's degree in international business management. And my pl plan is uh, in September intake. September and my intake. court will start at 19 September. All oh, right. So I'm okay. planning coming before that only. Okay. Uh, good to know. And uh, what university actually have you chosen? Middlesex University. I oh. already had uh, one interview, but they oh. asked me to give one more interview. All oh, right. Okay. So you already know the drill, actually, if um, have you mm -hmm. already gone through the process. So do, do you know yeah. the reason why they ask you for another interview? Do you know any, any, any reason mm -hmm. for that? They want to know more about the details and a little comparison about the country. Why are right. to study in the UK okay. compared to the home country and even the university comparison? Yeah, exactly. So that they are the main 
points actually, which I'm going to ask you again, uh, actually in this session as well. So we need to make sure you get the right answers there. So uh, yeah, it's, it's good to know. So if you can hear my voice uh, properly, so we can start a bit formal and um, as, as normal. So we will go through the question answer session and by back end of the session, I can provide you some, some feedback as well. I mean, if, if there's any sort of deficiency, any lacking, sure. so I can add those as well to your answers. Uh, and sure. I'm sure, yeah, that's, that's going to help you. Sure.